Okay, people are joining, great. I think, yeah, what it does is it lets people in at certain points. So these are probably people already been waiting in the lobby. Mm -hmm. I see some familiar names already. All right, let's kick it off. Well, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, thanks, Mark, for organizing. So um, the way these are set up, in case there are some uh, first timers between uh, am amongst us, um, we have monthly lectures. So last time it was um, it was Jeff Quirk that was teaching. Uh, this this month it's me, and in the upcoming months there'll probably be Franklin. Um, maybe Bruce, uh, Franklin Chan and Bruce Leverett and, and others. So, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, as much as you can join us, uh, uh, th th these, these get better with more attendance. And the way we do it, I think Jeff did a great job last month. We make these as, as interactive as possible. So I'm gonna be showing some positions, um, some games, uh, some with Kevin Carl, he's on the call, hi Kevin. Uh, some with Franklin and other players I've played in Pittsburgh and, and also uh, other, other games uh, from Shabalo, from Bronstein. Um, let's, let's, you know, let's, uh, uh, let's make this interactive. So uh, feel free to unmute yourself, just ask me questions or write in the chat, whichever is more comfortable uh, for you. All right, let's, uh, let's kick it off. I'll share my screen. Let's, let's get going. Oh, uh, Mark, it says host disabled sharing. Can you allow me, please? Oh, yeah, one second. Thanks. Should be ready to go. Okay, thanks. Okay. okay. Everyone can see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so I have 11 positions ready for tonight. Good to go. Um, some, of, some of these are, are my own games. Um, and just a few words about myself for people that don't know me. Uh, I know some of you do, some of you don't. So I've been, um, I'm from Turkey. I came to the US in 2010 and I've been playing in tournaments, um, well, since I was a little kid, but pretty much since I came here, uh, I came to PCC, Pittsburgh Chess Club, for a bunch of tournaments, and there's the Pittsburgh Chess League. Um, actually, Jeff Quirk and I play on the same team for CMU Tartans. And um, Mark organizes nice tournaments. Um, we're getting back to over-the-board tournaments. That was a really nice one. For, uh, for those that missed it, there's another one in, um, in Shanley Park. We, uh, we get this pavilion, and you, know, you can come and, and play. Um, mm -hmm. So PCC is you know, getting back to over the board chess, just like my quick sentences for, for promoting the, the club. And actually these are, um, these are some of my games from those tournaments. So we have Tuesday nights, typically, uh, we're getting back to those with the, with the post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> All right, uh, let's start with uh, something, um, something simple. Uh, how about, uh, how about, this game. Okay, so this was played two years ago, two summers ago. I'm black, um, and this is the third round. I actually lost the first two rounds, and I wasn't feeling great about my myself at the time. I'm seeking redemption, and we have this position, very sharp. Uh, it's like a Sicilian-like, um, not Sicilian. What should I say? Maybe perk, uh, but you know, castles on the opposite side of the board which means um, both sides are trying to checkmate each other, right? Whoever gets there first wins. So um, I sacrificed a pawn. If we count the pawns, right, um, white's up a pawn. Um, so what I was expecting here is the natural move uh, bishop back here or, or here. And because of these lines opening up, I have good play for my pawn. I think the position is unclear. I don't think white is better, uh, but my dark score is a little, little bit weak. So these, this bishop is very strong. It's unclear, it's very unclear. 
but um, oh, by the way, um, for those that don't know the, the chess notation, I've found that that can create a bit of a barrier between, um, between people that always say queen g6, knight g5, and so on and so forth. So the coordinates are here, by the way, on the edges of the board, one through eight and h through a, or a through h and one through eight. Um, so if, if you're having a hard time following, write in the chat or, or ask me and I'll slow down, okay? Um, okay, so um, white to play, he played this interesting move, queen d6. Um, well, the bishop is hanging on c4, right? I can take it, but can you see what happens if I, if I do that? Yeah, it takes your knight. <laughs> sure. So like this, right? Right. Um, and, and that must be okay for white. Because I'm down a pawn, remember? So I'm kind of pinning my hopes on a, on a middle game position where, where I, I want to get at the king. So I don't want that to happen. Um, the other way to do this is take the queen first. And then I take back somehow. And only then you, you take the, the knight. Either way, uh, I don't want this to happen. And I was a bit, I was a bit surprised by this move. So um, what would you play? Black to play and, and win. Probably uh, bishop takes d4. Okay, and uh, if I take? All right, uh, let's go with uh, knight to, um, what is it, b5? Um, no, hold on, that's not right. So we gave up a bishop on d4, and what's the idea? If, if he takes, say, right, if he takes and take, take, we're down a piece, right? We've got him locked in. Mm, maybe not. Um, yeah, unless we have something uh, concrete, we should not lose a piece. Yeah, not that, not that. And I guess you guys can hear me now. Sorry, what was that? I guess you all can hear me. This is my very first Zoom meeting. Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, feel free to please um, contribute as much as possible. Like I said, well, the, the more interactive, the better in general. Actually, we came to listen to you. Okay, is there, I haven't even thought it well out yet, but is there any advantage to the rook taking a night pawn? Oh, like this. I actually didn't consider that in the game. Rook b2. I'm gonna, okay, so you're saying if I take the queen, I take here first, right? This is the only move. Right. And then even here. And then king somewhere, and then you take a black wins. So nice. That's a, that's a nice idea. Problem is, if I just simply take, then the queen comes back to do a check. Mm -hmm. And I go back, say maybe here. Doesn't compensate it. Um, I'm trying to see compensation, but it's not there. Yeah. I don't think. So, good idea, but I don't think it works. So, um, queen, queen d6, I actually award that, that two question marks. Um, my, Magnus Carlsen says something uh, profound. He likes to attack without sacrificing. So can we do that? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a complicated position, right? So, so this bishop is hanging on c4. I have a trick. Oh, anyway, one, one last suggestion. If you mm -hmm. just want to hold everything, can't you just put rook to c8? I think that's a possibility. 
now what can, well, if anything, white can just simply go back and here or here. Um, and we're not, uh, I, think, I think it's a reasonable idea, but we're not winning anything, right? Uh, 96. 96 here, right? Yeah. Very good. 96 actually wins. Uh, that's that's a very nice idea. I did not see this. Oh, yeah, I would have saw that before. I'm just waking my ass up here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that's a that's a beautiful. But attack something, right? That's the so immediate threats uh, are very important in chess. So 96 um, does win. It is not what I played, but the idea is very simple, right? If you exchange queens, well, guess what? This isn't. Uh, this is this is hanging. This is also hanging. And you can't protect. Uh, you can't protect both. So sorry, uh, I take this way. I apologize. This way. That makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's actually a double attack, and you and white can't do anything about this. It does win. A uh, very nice idea. I played another win, which I think is a little bit more straightforward. Hmm. I usually get the third line. What was that? I usually get the third line on the computer. <laughs> oh, 96 is like minus seven, I think. So you, you're 96 is 100% correct. It's not just what I played. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I think I had a line on 96. What was the line? Queen takes B8, I think. Queen A5. Um, here, here. It gets a bit complicated. Like uh, white can actually play a bit better by taking the rook. Um, but what I played is just a knockout. Okay. Let's see here. So how else can we attack the bishop on f4? This guy. Just a step. Is it g5? g5 is a very nice idea. Um, if I take maybe here. And you take here, I think, right? Okay, let's let's see what I can do here. Um, well, actually, I can just simply go back, right? Yeah. And the position hasn't changed much. It's close. So the, um, the bishop skewers the bishop to the king. Like this, right? Yes. That's it. Beautiful. So the idea is, well, the queen is hanging now. So if you do an empty move, I just take your queen and the bishop is pinned to the king. So white cannot take back, right? It's, it's illegal. And if you take my bishop instead, I take your queen, it's hanging. And there's no defense. Black simply wins a piece. In the game, uh, he played here. But now I can just take the, the dark squared bishop first and then take here. And it's a piece. And I converted relatively easily. Why don't we see that stuff? Why don't we see the stuff? Yeah, it's just a joke. Oh, uh, in your own games, you mean? Of course. I'm, uh, honestly, it took me like 10 minutes to see Bishop 8-6. Uh, it wasn't super easy to find, but it was a piece okay. and that's I managed so to win the game. That's not so demeaning then. Oh, oh yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish people gave me a free piece every game, right? But anyway, uh, this is the first, I, I just thought about this game as, as a warm up round. And um, let's start with this one uh, as the second tactical game. Okay, um, I just showed you the move, the move, but okay. Knight of five, this is a different game from the same tournament, round four, actually. Um, let's play a black move, bishop takes d5, my opponent played. So what does white play here? So what's wrong with pawn takes bishop? I think that's totally fine. C takes d5, then... Notice the bishop can't leave uh, this diagonal much because uh, I might come, come in with this checkmate idea. Uh, so bishop f8, 
Black's still kicking, right? I think I think white is doing extremely well, but I played uh, something a bit different. What's the other capture we can make? Is it knight takes oh, knight takes h six? Yeah, that's what I did. And there's a tactical idea in mind. So this pawn's under attack, which means the bishop, if if you go here, say, can you see mate in one? Knight takes pawn check. Yep, that's checkmate. So the bishop has to stay with the pawn, which is why my opponent did, did this move, bishop e6. And now there's a tactical sequence. Boom, 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 boom. Three moves, and it lights out. Can anyone see it? Is it queen takes bishop? That's an excellent idea. Problem, I think what you're wanting to do is here and then- And then rook here. takes. Excellent. And- But I don't think it, does it work? Because the king right. can, oh wait, yeah, maybe. Here. It's, a great, oh. it's a great material advantage. <laughs> yeah. That way we're up a rook, right? All, exactly. all, all good, but is there a, I, it's a great idea. But there's, a, there's a problem with it. Here, does he have to take my queen back? Yeah, he can move his king. That's what I was thinking. Oh, that was good. Um, not moving the king, but but something check. else. Rook takes rook check. Exactly, and that's the oh, problem. Oh yeah. Oops, right. and I have to mm. take back. Take. I mean, oh, you're really okay. down. Well, switch the move order. What's the right move order then with for this execution? Well, take the. Uh, Call check first. Dude. Right, right. We take the rook first. Oh, yeah. And now it works. So now. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes mm -hmm. bishop. And now my opponent smiled after this move and I shook my hand. And that was it. Just to finish, uh, finish the moves. Now it actually okay. works. Very nice. People are sharp tonight, so we'll have a good time. <laughs> Okay, um, here's another relatively easy game. I was white uh, the first round of one of the Tuesday nights. Um, white to play, what would you do? No exchange. You said exchange? No exchange. No, no exchange? My first thought is not to change anything other than the something. Uh, do you have a recommendation? Uh, probably bishop to d5, maybe. Bishop d5, what's your idea if I, um, oh, sorry, it's it's black to me, I apologize. So here, you're, you're still saying bishop d5? Yeah. Okay, um, and what's your idea? Well, at least a pen and get the rook on the open. Uh, B. Okay, like like this. Um, well, I think the bishop is just as good on B3 as it is on D5, um, unless you want to take the knight. So let's say, I, let me play a move. Maybe, uh, what can I do here? Maybe king h8 to play, uh, play f5 one day. Rook b1 here. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Uh, maybe you wanna, if I if I play here, maybe you wanna take here, right? And then like this, that, that's a good idea. Uh, I think I just drop back. Yeah, so that. Like this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a game. I think it's an, it's an option, but uh, let's play it a different, um, so bishop d5 doesn't improve the bishop that much, but there's a, a typical maneuver in the um, Italian or, or Rui Lopez we improve uh, our knight, um, this knight in particular. What's up? Obvious. What'd you say? Oh, okay. E3. Um, E3 is the better square, exactly. I played knight G3 and I think actually I should have played knight E3 in the game. It was a bit, um, if you have an option between a central move and a side move, knights usually want, oh. want this, the center. 
Um, so I played knight g3, which is okay. Uh, white is still doing well. G6 is a, it's, um, you see what black is trying to do, right? This square is important. So uh, black prevents against that, but this allows for a flurry of attacking moves. So white to play. C1 to h6, maybe? Excellent. Good job, Greg. Rook e8. Uh, queen d2. Queen d2 is a fine move. Um, what can I do? Maybe bishop f8 or knight f8. Uh, actually, I'm thinking what to do. Yeah, black's position is not, not great. Maybe bishop f8 should be okay. No, I uh, try to. I will probably bring back my bishop one to try to see if he's get the f f seven square off on. Okay, f seven is of f seven is a target. It is. So so since he put the bishop back, you can mm. try to gamble by actually exchanging bishops and putting a queen in that corner with the bishop paws. Well, I was thinking like more like a bishop take yeah. and then knight up. And then see if you I'll bring it okay. in. Okay, let's go back. So I'm hearing good ideas, but um Bishop H6, rookie eight, and here F7 is weak. We're seeing that. So what's a good way to exploit that that weakness? Can we add another attacker? And how exactly? Knight g5. Knight g5 is a good idea, but I think it's hanging, right? You can just take it. Take, yeah. take, take. So okay. otherwise, it would be a, a wonderful idea. So no, I was no, I was confused. Okay, so the point was, so the point was, the, the in in this position, the idea was to go to queen to d2, and then when your bishop goes back, mm -hmm. I actually take I actually take your bishop off. And then put my queen there. Yeah, he has to take with something. Okay. How to take? Let's say take with the knight, and you you br bring the queen instead. Exactly. Yes. Uh, but what's your um, what's your idea here? The idea now is that there's no bishop there, so my knight can go there, trying to put an eight. Um, good idea. Uh, H seven is covered by the by the knight, so this is my only weakness now. Um, I think I have time to play knight a five here. So now that's uh, okay. now this doesn't do much, right? I can just chop it off, and you don't have mate because of the the knight. No, no, but, but okay, slow, slow down for a second. <laughs> okay, I slow down. Let's go back. All right. So I played knight a five, and what would you do? So now you have a choice. You can actually just check him right now with the bishop. Bishop takes pawn, and make his king exposed. Okay, but we sacrificed the piece, so we need to follow up. Um, you can, oh, you can, oh, you could that, yeah, you could die, yeah, you can get rid of right. Mm -hmm. And back. And now his knight has to stay there, so that means that now you can actually raise your rook to e3. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, slow. To, yes, true, that is true, it is slow. I mean, it is slow, it's it is a bit slow, right, um, but it's, it's an attack, it's a strong attack. So queen e7, rook f3 is actually, oh, but I think I have time for, for this, this, this. And yeah, now you're down your point and a half or two. Okay, so that doesn't work. All right, never mind. It's close though. So I think it's a, it's a nice idea. But my question is, why are you waiting that long to sacrifice your bishop? If you want to do it, do it. Exactly, right. Uh, do it here, right? How about, how about this variation? The different, you see the difference, right? The difference is I have an additional attacker on h6 when I sacrifice this other bishop. So it's actually stronger. How do I continue the attack here? Uh, 
D1, the D3. Queen, queen to D3. Absolutely, check. And you see what's going on. So the king can't go back because of the bishop, right? Um, well, this is also off limits because of the, the lady. Move forward. Uh, why do I go only forward? Possible. Only square. And now um, Mark had a nice idea. Maybe that works in this position. Well, you got another check going on here. This check is 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 not working, unfortunately. No, no, no. The other one. Which one? One. D takes. I love how interactive this is. So let let's let's keep it going this way. What's the move? Pawn takes pawn. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Pawn takes pawn. Um, I'm gonna take it. Maybe this way. Yeah, maybe this way. And now, I think we have a lot. We got no. You want to move? I think if your you knight. call the check, then you take the knight, then you bring the queen down to f seven. Okay, one by one. What? Which move are you recommending? Bishop. Uh, yeah. Here. Check. All right. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. knight takes. Knight takes. Taking in. It's close. I'm getting close. Almost but now. Uh, no cigar, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. You want to do knight to g5. Yes. Oh, so good. In this position, uh, Junior P, I'm seeing your hand raised. Uh, you, you can't speak up, right? Just to... Uh, yeah, can uh, you hear me? Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, so knight uh, to g5. This way you have the ability to move your queen in that angle. Very, very nice. So the threat is then queen where? Let's say I play an empty move and... Well, this is mate number one. And if you don't like that one, mate number two. Yeah, I, so I, I have a double mating idea. Well, in the game, this all happened in the game and black stop one. Oh, sorry. Uh, black stopped one of them by covering this square, but uh, he didn't stop the other one. So checkmate. All right. Uh, we're doing very well so far. Let's keep going. Hey, Millie, uh, one more thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, do have some contributions in the chat window, too. Oh, uh, I, I apologize. I, I've been missing it. Um, yep. How so do I just open the chat? Want to bring those up for attention. Sure. Thank you. Uh, Knight G5, well, all, all, all good ideas I'm seeing. Uh, Kevin said Bishop H6. Kevin's usually right. Uh, okay. And Knight G5, Paul, very good. Yeah, I, I'm all all ideas we've covered. I think in the in the game, and if we haven't, please uh, keep asking. I'll keep the chat open so you can start. Con you can continue contributing there. Um, I'm going to show a couple of games with Kevin. So Kevin Franklin and I we have a friendly rivalry for the last few years, and uh, I'll show a cool game Kevin and I have played. Kevin, since you know the game. Uh, you probably know all the moves, <laughs> so uh, so you can still contribute, but if you remember. All right, so I have black, and I actually played a pretty bad game. I was dead lost. Uh, somehow I hang on uh, by the skin of my teeth, and we have this position. Um, black to play, you're seeing an interesting material imbalance, right? White has a pawn and two pawn, uh, sorry, a rook and, and two pawns. Let's say these two pawns for my knight and bishop. Uh, an unclear position. Uh, I do have full compensation uh, and the material is about, about even, roughly speaking. Um, so we're slowing down a little bit now on the, on the tactics and actually started to talk about initiative and how to slowly build it. So black to play, what would you consider? Uh, rook to b8. Okay, so there is a um, there is a, a, a principle in um, by Kevin play rook e2, and you're recommending rook b8. There is a principle 
in chess, if you have a pair of pieces, you, 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 rooks or, or knights, you usually don't want to, um, you usually want to trade them off. What I'm trying to say is white has two rooks and normally he wants to trade one of them off like, like this. And the reason is this, usually they step on each other's toes. So for instance, you want to invade on the, on the B line, right? Normally. Well, originally, well, originally, I think you moved the rook up. I was seeing before that move, I spoke too early, I guess. I was seeing the bishop coming to uh, C3 when the rook was on uh, E1. Oh. Oh, excellent. That, that's a good idea, actually. Yes. So, and then yeah. you made the move up, and it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so. Right. No, no, no. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, but even, even so, that's a tactical uh, observation, which is interesting. But even so, um, I do have to drop back with my bishop, so I don't have time anyway. But, um, okay, let's take it from this position. That's so rook b8 is something Kevin wants to do, uh, get one of the rooks off. I actually want to keep the material on the board and focus my efforts on the on the king side. So any Benoni Banco players, uh, there's, there's a typical lever in these uh, in these positions. What about knight to f4? Knight f4 is actually uh, the key point in the game, although here it might be a little early. So check, very nice idea. I think he has to take. Take. And let's say queen, the computer's saying queen c3, but let's just put it here. Um, how do we continue? You just take the pawn probably, right? Um, and maybe I can do this. I have some compensation on dark squares because this, this uh, bishop is good, but I don't think I have enough. But keep that idea in mind. There, there won't come a time where knight f4 will be, will be good. Bishop to uh, E4. I think Bishop D4 is is a very good good move. So you see, in this position, uh, my knight and bishop sometimes step on each other's toes. Uh, we want D4 square. Ideally, a, a knight wants to go there, but there's no way. Um, knight maybe wants to transfer to E5 or F4, like the gentleman suggested. So Bishop D4, I think, is a fine move. Um, I did something, I think bishop d4 is about, about even, it's playable. Uh, I did something a bit different. I played g5 with similar ideas, still um, dark square play. He takes, I take back, rook f3. So now um, the, the, one of the ideas of g5 is revealed, as in the, the lady can park herself on g6. And rook f5. I actually seen this position when I played g5 because uh, it's a natural flow. So uh, this pawn's attacked. And, and Kevin's idea is very good, right? If I play f6, for instance, um, I weaken my king a little bit over here. Maybe he can try to invade on, uh, down the b line or he can push d6 maybe even stronger. Um, bishop f6 is similar. Now I have, th this is the key point in the game. So black to play, what would you do? So now I can do the knight check. Excellent, uh, excellent. very, very good. Knight f4 check is actually winning. Now, if he, go, if he declines the sacrifice I just take and I'm doing extremely well, um, he has to accept. Uh, keep going. Yeah, wait. pawn takes pawn discover check. Very good. Now, if king f1, what happens? f3. f3 is excellent. Although there's rook g5. I actually haven't looked at this, uh, this line. Then, then you take with check that, well. Check. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue the line. Um, it'll be interesting, right? Um, I am losing my queen, but. I'll have some compensation. I don't think it's sufficient, but, but good idea. Uh, I wonder if there's a better way to continue. Uh, how about um, D8 to H8? Yeah, now we're talking. 
And now this this is checkmate. If rook e1, I think f3 is is now. Uh, is is f3 good? I don't know what's what's good there. No, f3 is good. Uh, but but rook f rook f3. Because the rook has to come back. Take yeah. Oh, I think the line then is check here, here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks winning. Let's finish the line. Rook e1, queen e1, wins. Good. So that's why the king can't go back then. Here, right? The king cannot go back. And this is this is very easy to, to finish. The rook h8 is just checkmate. At rook h5, rook h5. So the king has to go up and not here. Again, same mate, but Kevin played king f3. Okay, what, what do we do? We have to bring more attackers. So again, why not again go d8 to h8? Very good, yes. And the threat is rook h3, checkmate. Everyone can see, right? The king is kind of trapped, can't go anywhere. The pawn is doing a great, uh, great job. So I played here. Kevin is very resourceful. He, um, he takes the bishop. I guess that's the only move, actually. There is no other defense. And I was down to just a few seconds here. Uh, my bad time management kind of told. Um, how would you continue the attack? Um, rook h3. Rook h3. Um, then king takes. Pawn. Takes. And queen f6. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I think and that's what happened in the game. This is the only move. Uh, mm. Queen h6 would be yeah. better, I think. Oh, yeah. So and just then you to finish this line, this is actually the game line. Uh, I did go for this erroneously, and it doesn't work because uh, you probably, you and I probably both missed that King has access to this e5 square. Yeah. And down to like seconds, I have to take the perpetual check and the game ended in a draw. Okay, uh, someone said queen h6 here. Um, Rook g5 check is an idea or king e5. I'm not sure which one's stronger. Let's try king e5. We are down a down a rook. Uh, no, that wouldn't work. It's very close, uh, but doesn't work. And you, you see, I'm uh, down to seconds. I'm sweating to find the, the checkmate, and it's not there. Um, so we played the game and it was a draw and Kevin immediately showed me, oh, you, you play this and you win right away. So what's that? What's that secret sauce? So is it, um, is it G6 to D6? Qu Queen D6, right? Right. You're threatening F6? F3. Oh yeah, F6, F6, right. F6, okay. So Greg is recommending Queen D6 with the idea of F6 and the, the, the rook will be Trapped. I think, how would I defend here? Well, this is the only, the, the first move that comes to my mind. And if you do this, oh, uh, I was thinking here. At least I'm not getting mated, right? You, you do win the rook. That's, that's it this way. The king survives and I'm up uh, two pawns. That is white is up two pawns. We don't have time, <laughs> no time. So the thing is, I didn't have time on my clock either. And there is no time on the board either. So we could have Queen to h6 from there. Queen h6 check, uh, good, good idea. So two options, king g4 or king f5. Which move is better? King. I don't know. Oh, actually, wait, there, there, there's this move too, right? This is better, yeah, rook g5, check. Sadly, it's check. Yeah. King f6, maybe, but e5? No, it doesn't work. And king f8, we're kind of uh, losing momentum here. 
uh, F6 maybe, oh, sorry, it's white tomorrow, isn't it? Um, queen A5 maybe, I'm not sure what's, what's a good defense, but uh, again, F3, if, if anything, like as long as the king can run somehow, white's okay. Doesn't work. Well, things when things don't work, you need to bring another attacker. Uh, Greg was very close actually, but uh, the move order could be could be improved. Is it King F six? King F six is the right idea. The only problem is I think Rook F five is checked. Oh, and right, yeah. Then E five, and the king can run. Mm -hmm. uh, Would it be pawn yeah. to F? I mean, to six F six. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, so Greg played the same thing, queen d6, but uh, you don't need the queen on d6 to, to play this. This is checkmating. Like um, we should know this pattern, right? The rook, if the rook goes away, this mate, uh, everyone should uh, should 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 know. It happens very often. And actually, um, white has no defense. He can give a check, king f8, and there's no defense to queen g5 check. Next move, and mate, say e5, check. Um, let me see. How do we checkmate here? Queen g5, king e4. Um, queen g4, maybe. F f5. f4. That's mate, right? Okay. Nice mate, right? Okay. Any questions uh, about this game? So, again, the key move was knight f4 here. Um, can you please mute your mic if you're not speaking? Thank you. Oh, I just washed my hands. Ugh, you little rat. Um, yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Another Kevin game. So uh, there are many games where Kevin beat me, but I'm not showing those. Okay. Here's this one, which, which, which was interesting. I'm black. Um, and again, I, I lost my previous game and Kevin and I are playing. Kevin played knight a4. First, let's assess the position. So I have an isolated pawn on d5, right? Um, which means we have to play dynamically. The knight left uh, the center and uh, this knight that is, and black can fill the space left behind with, uh, with a good central move. So any ideas? How about... Um... Knight up to g4, maybe. Knight g4, I think your heart's in the right place. Mm, maybe Kevin can do, uh, this move looks good to me. So um, in uh, isolated queen pawn positions, the square right. in front of the pawn is important, which is d4. Um, okay. Problem is that this, this knight is loose. Maybe you can drop back. It's a position, I think it's, it's about, about level. Uh, mm. It's something a bit more, more central. Knight e4. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, similar, a little bit, little bit more, um, a little bit more active. And then maybe going for the fork. Let's say again. I was looking at the fork on um, e3. Keep that thought in mind, because that'll be very crucial in a second. Okay, so Kevin played bishop d4. Again, that, that square is important. Trades happened. And again, just like going back, so the knight was controlling e4. Uh, it went away, we filled that space. Now trades happened. This knight was controlling e5 and g5. And notice the knight has now moved. So black to play, let's finish development. What to do? Mm 
Queen G5, maybe? Queen G5, excellent. And that's what I played. And Kevin played knight of three back. Now what to do? D3. Queen where? G3. I mean, uh, whatever. G6. Drop back, stay on the knight. At F6? G6. G6. G6, right? Yes. Okay. Build something. Um, well, the pawn is hanging on. Well, on yeah, they can five. always do the knight up to G, H4. So. You were saying knight H4 here? Yeah. Okay, I think the, yeah, I we're, we're dropping this pawn. Um, we don't want to lose this pawn, right? Oh. It That's depends. Cool. Are you dropping a pawn? Because, well, you, if you want the king to come out, you can actually take the bishop pawn with that knight. Can you tell me the move? Because I'm having a hard time following it. Now, what to do here? Okay, so it's e4 to f2. Uh, in this position, right? Right. Okay, so, nice idea. So, so he's not going to come out with the king, but if but but if he comes with the rook, you now you're forking two rooks at the same time. Mm hmm I like that idea, bishop e3. Uh, maybe rook here. I don't know where the rook goes, actually. Um, but you've already done your damage, so. <laughs> and that's a, that's a fantastic uh, idea. Maybe maybe rook, rook uh, he, he, here, here. F1 already went on Machu, but that's the F1. And what now? Take the rook or, or something else? At this point, at this point, you can do anything you want. So that that might include um, even using a bishop to attack his queen, and then and then like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's play. Bishop, what about bishop to h three? Oh, never mind. Okay. Bishop h three would threaten mate. That's not. A, it's an option too, but maybe knight h four. So here, uh, bishop h three here. I think right. Um, knight h four is always an idea. It's a game. It's a game. Uh, I think. I think it's a. It's a good idea. Uh, queen d three. Not. Not quite clear uh, who's who's doing better. If anything, white is doing. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. If queen if queen goes to d three, right, then you can actually do e six to e five. I mean, yeah, e six to e five. Yeah. You mean f five? F five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, queen. Queen somewhere else. Uh, Let's say, where does the queen go? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Maybe queen d1 back. Okay. So now I can increase the pressure by using that rook that's not doing anything at a8. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> queen a1. Oh, this gets even better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I have to get rid of that knight first. Well, maybe, maybe you don't have to. Um, you know what you could, you know what you could do. You could do f five to, I guess, h three. Okay, you want checkmate? Maybe king h one. Oh well, close. Close. <laughs> oh man, what's going? On? What's so hard about this? Oh gosh. No one with an expert. That's why. <laughs> We make it really hard on you, right? But but all good moves. Let's let's keep these uh, keep these going. Okay. Um, we're very close. Um, mm -hmm. So the, the the thing is, we played queen g six. Did we really have to? Like, did did we, did we really have to go up this pawn? That's it's the bane of my existence. This pawn is really, very strong. How about knight f two here? Does it does it work? The queen is hanging, but. It's actually okay. Why is that true? So that's what I played in the game. Because uh, knight g5, well, I take his queen. Right? Um, if he takes this bishop, 
becomes a monster. And we're up two pawns and the pair of bishops, which, which should win. Uh, rook d5 maybe, but you know we can drop back. Or uh, actually even, yeah, we can drop back probably. Uh, Black is doing very, very well. Uh, and there's other lines. Um, yeah, like bishop d1 is even worse because now the, the crook hangs. Black is doing very well in, this, in these positions. So Kevin played, uh, he, he actually took the, took the queen. Knight takes queen, knight c5. Instead of taking my knight, he played knight c5. I took the, the pawn, rook f7. So it looks very active, right? Um, he's down a couple of pawns, but he has activity. What would you play here, a calm move? H6. Excellent. That's what I did. Because now the rook is, is not protected anymore. My opponent played bishop h5. Let's take. Knight b7. Now how would you finish off the game? Cover check. Mm -hmm. So this, this knight will move somewhere, right? Somewhere beautiful. Um, it shouldn't matter where you move, but what's what's your gut feeling? D4. Um, where? No, it was D4, I said. D1, G4. D1, G4 check. D1. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I played Bishop F5 actually in the game. Okay. Um, knight G4 check looks, looks very attractive. I'm trying to remember why I didn't do that. Um, maybe Knight C5. What about knight to d1 check? Because you have a back rank mate threat after the. Uh... That's a very nice idea. Let's go back. Knight d1 check is very tricky. Because now knight c1 and um, rook e1 is, is suggested, right? With, with mating ideas. Uh, although there's rook f1. It's very close once again. These are all winning. We're just choosing between different wins. But in the game, Let's keep knight, knight d1 check in mind. It, it will happen. I'll play bishop f5 to block off the rook from coming to defense. Uh, Kevin played knight d6. And now knight d1 did happen. King f1. Because king h1, rook e1, as suggested, is actually checkmate. King f1. Have to finish off the game. Bishop to d3. That's what I did. Bishop e2, and it doesn't matter how you take. I took with the bishop and rook e6, and he resigned. We're up two pieces in the in the, in the final position. Okay. Uh, would bishop h5 before, like previously also, like from that position, would bishop h5 also mm -hmm. work? I think so. Um, I think bishop h5 check, knight e8. Rook e8, you're oh, saying, probably? Yeah, yeah, and then the rook takes. Excellent. That was probably even better. I think I just wanted to force resign resignation by uh, moving the rook up. But what you're saying is probably even stronger. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a good position where you can you know, pick between, uh, between wins. The thing is, um, my games with Kevin, he's been in, in these positions where he could, he could pick any win he, as he desired. So, you know, we go back and forth. And final game against Kevin, just to wrap those up. Another one of our battles on white this time. Um, white to play. Take a second to absorb the ideas here. And uh, what would you play with white? White is down one pawn. White's down a pawn, that's true. I'll get water as you think about the position. I'll be right back.
Okay. Any ideas? Knight takes g5. g5. That g5 is a good idea. Uh, and if knight, knight takes? <clears throat> knight could take the white bishop to, because you have a white bishop and it would strengthen things first. No, no, I mean first, before it, before it last it. Okay, knight takes here in this position, right? Like this. Yeah, but we're just, just thinking that you have a white bishop and you take his off the table and you have the black pawn on g5. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a fine idea. Uh, queen takes and maybe now we take the pawn. Mm. Or you could then take one of the knights because two knights going after the black pawn on uh, e5. This mm -hmm. is all playable. Um, I played it a, a bit differently. I, I thought my, my knight here was stronger than um, the bad French bishop. So I did not make that trade just yet. So can you do um, can you do like b two to b four maybe? B four is a common idea in the French. And Greg is thinking, well, if knight takes, then this knight will have the best day of his life. Like this, maybe right? The rook mm -hmm. is unleashed on the queen. Yeah. Um, so that's a good idea. What can we do against that? Hmm. Maybe g4. And I, I have an idea of my own to, to take this pawn one day. It's a game. All right, maybe you want to play here. It's an option. It, it did not happen just yet, but I think b4 is a, is a useful move. I did something simpler. I, I want my e5 pawn to stay on the board. So who's attacking my pawn, right? There is the knight, knight, queen. I release the tension on, um, on the pawn a little bit by taking on g6. So someone did suggest this move, actually. Take, keep going. It takes g4, then queen up to f3. Very good. That's exactly what happened. Knight g5. And you see the, the e pawn, e5 pawn is not hanging. If knight e5, once again, any knight move will be a discovery. Uh, in particular, knight takes e6 is, is just winning. Because the, the rook attacks the queen and the queen moves. And I can do anything. Uh, knight c7, check, pick up the rook. This knight is hanging, so it's it's pretty bad. Um, Kevin played rook h5. Let's stabilize the knight. Yes, h4. 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 Very good, h4. I did play h4. Queen b6. So maybe my opponent wants to take on b2, maybe. Too slow. Queen f3. Very good. You're playing just like me. Uh, good luck, you sometimes. <laughs> no, I think uh, <laughs> your intuition is, 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 is uh, spot on. So I'm starting to wake up. <laughs> good, good. Uh, I work overnight all the time. Uh, okay, well, you're sharp today, so that, that's, that's awesome. Night D. Well, no, uh, not really. Wait till we play. We'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Bill's idea is to attack f7, right? Um, and that would be devastating. And that's why my opponent played knight d8, covers the, covers the pawn. Uh, now I think I missed that move actually in the game. I think this was the moment, yeah. So how would you continue the, the attack? 
maybe dislodged and bishop now. Knight takes bishop, yeah. Knight takes bishop, king I takes. Know, well, let's look at it. So knight takes, knight takes, uh, king yeah, you're takes. Definitely, now you get the pawn or you're moving. Oh, watch yeah, out. there you go. Oops. Watch well. Out. Kevin's the tricky player. Yeah, y'all are. <laughs> okay. Um, mm, that's not good then. I think there was a so can you change when knight, your idea is good? Yeah, knight knight takes f7. Knight takes f7. Okay, now we're talking, right? Knight takes f7. Mm -hmm. And if rook f5 now. Check. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Knight is, check. You see the difference, right? In the other move order, this doesn't work. Here, no, we have no check. This is not check, right? But in the correct move order with knight f7, uh, rook f5, knight d6, with this intermezzo or inter intermediate move, uh, we win the exchange. Now, I saw this in the game, but I remember, oh, white can just, uh, sorry, black can just take. And I saw this, I saw this variation where I lose a, uh, lose a, a piece, but I was wrong. Queen so takes know. queen takes rook. Exactly, exactly, and that's what I missed. So queen takes rook wins the game. There is no intermezzo anymore. Pawn takes is answered by pawn takes, where white's up an exchange, and if black follows up with intermezzos with queen c five. You see what happens, right? Queen g6 check, yes. black response, and only now you take the, the rook, uh, the, sorry, the queen. Okay, so you're playing better than me already. I, I missed this position, I, I missed this idea, so I played something inferior, a3. Um, Greg, Greg's idea of b4 will happen. The thing is that when you can't find the, the win, it's okay to keep the position, right? I was down on time. I can't see the, the tactics. It's okay. Play something normal because he can't improve his position easily. He played queen b5. Uh, and again, knight, uh, does knight f7 work? Let's see, does it work now? Uh, it doesn't, right? Because knight f7, now the queen covers the bishop. Okay, something else then. Can we bring our pieces uh, closer to the black king? Uh, can threaten the rook. Like this? Yeah. But the pawn is hanging, yeah? Uh... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm like still not awake. It's okay, not a problem. The rook's already passive. Let's uh, let's focus on the king instead. I keep thinking queen to f6, but I can't see anything, you know, from there. But it, except that it kind of is coming toward the king, and I am blocking. Uh, King from going to e7, so I lose some mobility. I really like uh, queen going to h8, but we got that stupid rook there. Yes, we do. Wish uh, wish g4 worked. Would it be worth? Uh, could you get a knight onto f6? You'd have to sacrifice one of them on e4. That's a very nice. For by, by the way, queen f6. Uh, is what I played. So congratulations, a pat on the, the back for, for the gentleman. Uh, knight e4 is, is a very good idea as well that I did not see in the game. Which knight, do, do you have a preference, C or G? I'd start with the G, I'd start with the G, uh, yeah. yeah, the G knight. G knight, let me try to find with fork. You also have a king rook fork if he doesn't take you. Um, you, have, you have king rook and a king queen fork. You have right. a d6 and then an f6. Right, right, very good. Let's say, uh, I know Kevin likes materials. Let's, let's just take, take back. 
And how do we defend? What would I play? Can I be greedy and just take everything? Knight uh, with here, yeah. probably, right? Check. Then I guess the rook immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, king up. Are we taking the rook? Maybe not. No, take the rook. Now, notice Maybe queen d6 would, would be checkmate, but we can't get there. Maybe queen d3 is interesting. Taking the rook. Uh, OK, well, we're down material. A little bit like if I can play knight c6, I'm kind of kind of solidifying because I'm saying now your queen can get to f6. True, the attack continues. Uh, white still has has resources. When the knight's still on f6, could you push the rook up to c7 and you win the bishop? Uh, in which position exactly? Oh boy, if he, okay, queen takes b2. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I see what you're saying. So knight f6, king e7, rook c7. That's that's a good idea. Yep, I missed that. So I'm thinking the more you're right, you're right. This this looks excellent. Uh, maybe this was a miss. Maybe I should play king f8. But then you just lose the bishop, right? I do. Uh, king g7. And now you now you now you bring the queen up into your first yeah, right there. Okay, king back. And I guess work to c7. Mm -hmm. Rook f5. And now um, it's going to be tricky. But um... queen e7. Yeah. Queen f2, king h1, queen e1, here, 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 <laughs> here. Probably getting made in, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, black has resources too. I think I think this line is is good for a white. Um, you know what? Let's let's ask the engine. I'm curious if this this idea might very well be be very good. Um, knight e4. I like this side. Knight e4. Let's see what the engine says. Let's cheat. Okay, the engine is saying equal. Okay, I hate engines. <laughs> um, so here's the engine line. D E, knight E, four. Um, what did we play here? I forget. We but played bishop. knight to F6, but probably knight to D6, check. Uh, black to play. So bishop C6 is engine recommendation. And knight F6, like you said, and engine's giving all zeros. Okay, well, position, position is full of possibilities, but this was certainly an option. Um, yeah, very close. Okay, uh, I did something slightly different, but I, I think this is uh, worth consideration. I did play queen f6 as previously recommended. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm bringing the queen closer to the king, which uh, which creates chances. Kevin played b6, and now is the critical position of the of the game. Now, what I want you to do, you guys are amazing tonight. Give me the full line, not just one move, but. What's the what's the natural line that leads to mate in four or five moves? Knight to b7. Knight takes b7. A queen, queen, queen check. Queen takes f7 check. And king d8. Um, bishop, uh, knight takes e3 check. E6 check. Mm. Bishop E6, right? Uh, there's the bishop. Queen Queen takes E6, and then and then the C and the D files. You just you just own them with the rook. I see. Uh, 
so again, knight b7, knight takes b7, queen, F, queen takes f7 check, king d8, knight takes e6 check, bishop takes e6, queen takes e6. I think I have queen d7 in the end. So I'm trying to kind of curl up and, and defend if I can. Uh, so just to... Well, doesn't queen... Did... Oh, yes, it, I'm sorry. Um... We're very close. Knight b7, let's put them on the board. Knight b7, knight b7, check. So far, so good. Check. Here, here. And I'm saying probably computer saying even e8, but queen d7 also. Queen takes g6, the rook okay. king. Rook back. Oh, but then queen f6, right? Oops. Maybe rook h7. <coughs> Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Rook f5, maybe. It's hard to defend with black, but I'm trying. Um, but then you have e6, e6. Right? swings on the spot. Yeah, you're right. OK, um, how about, wow, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a good line. Yeah, maybe you got me. OK, uh, I'm going to change my thinking. Maybe queen e8 was better here. Just, uh, just to defend the pawn on, on g6. And take the one on, uh, on d5. Very good. This one then here, and you're probably winning here, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. This probably also wins. It's not what I did, uh, but uh, very close. This, so far, it did happen. Um, and the, the line that's recommended wins. Uh, apparently. Is it queen f8? Yes, queen f8 is even better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then bishop blocks and knight, knight. e6. Mm -hmm. uh, only move here, right? Yeah. And, uh, rook c7? Or no, that takes the knight. Oops. Uh, no, keep going. Oh, and then queen f6. Check okay. Checkmate. I think you can choose between the two two lines. The, this is mating, and the other one's just just winning. Uh, let's make sure. Let's turn on the engine here once again. Cheating. And yep, uh, here. Okay, queen. Uh, sorry, my computer stuck. Ninety six doesn't win. Sorry, my computer's having a. Hard time. One second. I'm trying. I'm curious if 96 also wins. Um, it does win. So you are 100% right. Okay. So we could have chosen between the two moves, but I chose uh, this one. Okay. Anyway, just a few more positions left, and we'll call it a night. Um, another. Well, another game. My my. One of the last games I played before the pandemic. This was the Pittsburgh Chess Club Championship round four. I'm playing Franklin, uh, another good friend like Kevin, um, a master also. So master. yeah, so Kevin's a master, Franklin's a master, my, my good friends and very strong players. Oh, you are a master also. Sorry, I didn't submit an expert to uh, before. Sorry, what was that? I said you're master. I didn't. I didn't mean to insult you. I am not you actually. I haven't, I haven't crossed to twenty two hundred. Um, oh, dude. Maybe one day. I'm, I'm very close, like twenty points. But yeah, um, you're talking to <laughs> well, a lowly candidate master. We're, we're talking to a genius. Okay, dude. Okay, that uh, just hasn't played enough games yet. Yeah, um, I hope to get my master title soon. You know, with the world opening up again. 100% sure it will happen. Thank you. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, so Franklin with the white pieces is doing his best to defend. Uh, I'm again down a pawn. Um, and this game, by the way, I did show in the, in the lecture I gave just before the pandemic started. So hopefully it's not uh, a repeat for people that were, that were there. But um, what would you... What would you do with black here? Uh, 
Um, you got to put that light squared bishop to use on his weak king side. I don't know, like f5, f4 or something. You guys are way better than me. You should be teaching. Um, f4 is the correct move, and I didn't play that. I played the, the inferior rook e8, which is an instructive mistake, I think. Um, it is unclear whether this e line will open up, right? So why am I putting the rook there? Yeah, I should have played f4, which was which was stronger. Um, but it did happen. One move later, he played king h1, f4, queen f3. Keep going. Bring the bishop into the attack. Bishop where? To g4. Yes. Now there's a forcing line. Queen g2. Pawn. Pawn. Queen g1. Bishop. Mm -hmm. The rook Pawn. somewhere. <laughs> oh, wow. And <laughs> <laughs> the king is smothered. Sweet. So black wins. Um, and it looks like there's no defense, right? Because the queen can't stay. Queen has nowhere to go. Therefore, white played the only move. Okay. Which move? E5 to D6. Excellent. That's the only move. Otherwise, white can just resign. So here, I remember feeling um, <laughs> stupid, honestly, because I was looking at the move rook f7 and feeling very good about myself because I thought, well, if he takes, take. Well, all of these, line, these squares are covered and I win, right? Because the uh, queen can't stay here. Queen can't go, go any of the, the, light, the green squares. And queen g2 is the same, same position. So life, but, is, uh, life is great. But since he doesn't have a black bishop and he has no knights in the area, wouldn't just moving the king be easier? Um, what do you mean? I said, when you get to check, okay, since he has no black bishop, mm -hmm. he has no knights in the area, wouldn't just moving the king be easier? Order. That's what I, that's what I did. Um, well, let's first uh, refute rook f7, because I felt um, quite surprised when I spent five minutes on this move. It's clearly not good. Queen takes b B seven. Of course, queen takes B. And I, and I, I'm, I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> the queen is just, uh, and now actually, white wins. Believe it or not, so it was uh, uh, five minutes spent uh, for no reason. Of course, of course, king h eight is, is is stronger. Okay, no, no problem. Now white can take the pawn, and that's the only move. And now I actually can choose from a few wins. Now, what would you do? On to C, I mean, uh, F3. On to F3. Okay. So I think you probably want this and this and this, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, and even if he blocks, you just slowly position yourself in there. Mm -hmm. That's an idea. I'm trying to find a move to defend. Uh, if I just move the rook, say, to d1 or c1, let's say d1. Do you still want to continue this way? Probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, after here, maybe I'm holding. Or what if you went with the bishop first? Oh, wait, then, then you're not protecting your pawn. Okay. Right. But what if you bring the bishop now? The bishop here, right? I think, I think, again, Franklin's very resourceful. Maybe here to cover the bishop. And then you can play knight g4, possibly, right? Yeah. Looks winning. 
looks winning. Maybe, maybe I can defend better with take, take rook g1, but again, knight g4 wins. Okay, excellent. Let's see if we could have yeah, improved the defense in any way, maybe h4. Let's try this one. Yeah, bishop to the h file. Well, I guess it'll be the same thing. This way? Yeah. Bishop h3, but how are we? Like, uh, if you were to play a few more moves, let's say, uh, oh, what can I do? Maybe rook a2. If you were to check him with the bishop now mm -hmm. at the g file. Uh, and then you line your queen. Oh, the... I see what you're trying. That's that's a very good idea. I, I actually missed that. Yeah, uh, that makes you pretty much have to walk it, and he's trapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're. I didn't see this idea. Very, very nice. I guess that wins too. Queen H. Yeah, there's no escape because uh, Bishop F1. Uh, you, you play this. Yeah, the truth is there's many wins. I think we're finding several of them already. Uh, what was I thinking? in the game, I'm trying to remember. Um, I think I was thinking of this one immediately without the pawn move. Just threatening bishop f3, give me the queen, give me the, the king. Oh, my arrows are not good today. Um, maybe f3, I saw f takes g in the game. Rook a2 and I wasn't, Yes, rook a2. And I couldn't find a follow up here, although there is a win. I don't remember what the win is, but it's there. Um, bishop c8 and bishop h3 apparently both win. So there's many wins, but I chose the most practical one in, in my mind. I played rook b8 and my thinking is very simple. I was obsessed with this diagonal in the game, this whole big diagonal. And I'm thinking if the queen has to leave that diagonal, he can resign. Because as you, you're, you're all suggesting, bishop ends, on F, ends up on f3, queen comes to h3, light squares are just lethally weak. So uh, this is what I did. Uh, maybe not the best move, but I think the easiest win. Queen takes a6, and now he has three pawns extra. So you know I really have to checkmate. OK, how did we, how can we wrap this up? Take over the diagonal. With uh, with which move? Mm -hmm. it has to be the bishop. Bishop check. I think that's what I did. Yes, that's what I did. King g one's forced. Yeah, now you're going to move over on the h file. With the queen, right? Correct. Rook? Yeah, you can squeeze down if he does the h4 stuff. You know, if he does h4 after that, yeah, there you go. That's a stronger move. Yeah, I think this is all the, the same. If you move the knight and then bring the rook over, that should work too. Queen g4, I think queen h6 or h5 also work. Queen anywhere active wins. Queen g4, he played bishop e2, and I kind of paused for a second. I hadn't, I hadn't seen this idea, actually. Um, what to do from, from this position? Well, maybe trade off and then push up F3. Excellent. That's exactly what I did. Take, take. Um, F3, very good. Yes. Queen there. I think there was a better defense. Okay, let me just finish up the game. Queen C4 and, and black and forced mate with, with which move? H3. Exactly. Queen H3, Queen H4, Queen G2. I gave checkmate on the board. That's how the game ended. And I was thinking uh, queen d1 was a better defense because you see the idea, right? So queen h3, now we hung the, the pawn. Yeah. Um, what about push the pawn up to e4 to defend the f3 pawn? Well, yeah. no, bring the queen back. Well, yeah, either way. 
Uh, so e4 will bring the queen back. Uh, I'm hearing what's uh, queen queen where? Back to um like here. H5 to keep the defense on the F3 and move up. And then, well, no, that locks no, down. Yeah, that's E4, E4 that's is really better. Good. E4 is just better. Better. E4 is just better. You're right. There's those ideas. Um, <laughs> I'm giving the interesting. I have another crazy idea with knight D5 instead. Uh, E4 is the same thinking. So the thing is, what I want to do is protect the guy and play queen H3, queen G2. And you're saying e4 wins, which I think is correct. Uh, my idea was knight d5, which is more forceful. If knight takes queen, right? Uh, same idea. So like this, e4. Uh, let's see how e4. Like what? What to do after knight? Um, well, e4 here. Maybe there is no defense. Yeah, you're probably right. If he, takes, if he takes e4 with a knight. If you take back with a knight, then the rook now protects the f3 pawn. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. And and notice we haven't sacrificed anything. You know, this simply wins anyway because we're we're up at knight. So yeah, I think e4 wins. Uh, knight e4, maybe even knight e4 wins. Okay, there was a lot of wins already. Um. Yeah. So um, he played queen c4 instead, and the game ended like this. Okay, you're, you're finding all the moves. I'm feeling very good about, about this. What have I not shown? I think we covered most of them. Um, so uh, let me pay a quick tribute to Grandmaster Shabalov. This is one of his games I, I fell in love with, uh, a game he played a, a long while back. Uh, he's been a staple in, in Pittsburgh, uh, yeah, grandmaster from Latvia, Riga. Um, I hope you like it too. I think it was played in 1978, if I remember correctly. Old game. He's black. Uh, it was an Alakine. He's upon a castle queen side. And knowing him, he must have been um, felt, he must have felt really compelled to uh, continue the attack in this position. Let's put ourselves in, in Grandmaster Shabalov's shoes and try to try to execute the attack. So what would you play with, with black? F5 to D3, maybe? Bishop D3? Yeah. Uh, and if I take... Excuse me. There's, there's a pawn on that. <laughs> yeah, that loses a pawn. No, our bishop is very good. I think we should keep it. It was that it, it now, but I'm saying it opened up the file for open the C file for your works. That's what I'm saying. That that is a good point though. Um, let's just build up. Our rooks are not in play, right? Let's bring them into action. Rook C8. Let's line up the rook with the king. It, the C line has a good chance of opening up. White played H3, which is very slow. And let's, uh, Greg, to your point, how can you clean all of the the pieces on the on the C line to get at the king. Knight to Angel A4. Knight. Thank you, Junior P for, for joining. Knight to knight to where? A4. Excellent move. That's what Shabalov did. You're playing like a grandmaster. Okay, knight d4. Maybe now the bishop is uh, is on pre. You know, if you do a, an empty move, maybe take, take, take might happen. So what's the uh, best move? Take the knight out. Mm -hmm. Take um, the knight out. We take the knight on d4, take back.
which piece isn't participating in the attack. Bishop's active, knight's very active, but this knight over here on the A file. This guy, right? Right. How can we bring him into the attack? Well, he has to bring him up to C5. That's what Jabala did. And you see there's a fork threatened. For example, G4, knight B3 check. Correct. It doesn't only win the queen, it wins the king too, because it's checkmate. Got it. You see, there's no, no squares to, to run. And if, even if you're not checkmating, the, the queen is also gone. But to defend, white takes the, the pawn so that knight b3 is now answered why bishop takes b3. Now, think, think well here. Shavala played a stunning move. Probably something like uh, take the B pawn. Ooh, so this this sacrifice. Okay, let's let's see how that goes. King B two. Night check. Yeah, night check. Mm -hmm. Let's. Um... Should I take it? Probably. Take, take, and now you want my bishop. I can protect with rook c1, although you'll play b5, right? Rook c1, b5. Um, did I have a better move? Maybe bishop b3 was, yeah, maybe that defense. Mm -hmm. You see? Uh, the king is actually pretty safe, sadly. What about um, rook to b2? Rook b2, where? After you just did that, mm -mm. at the end of that line. The end. Where he brought, brings the bishop back. Mm -hmm. and rook, rook uh, here, right okay. There. Right there, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Cool idea, cool idea, uh, but take, take here. Is there any way to get in there? Oh, Again, it's close, but not good enough. Not good enough. Because uh, you can do this one, though. That's a good idea. You know, you want to do here and then checkmate. Uh, but I think white's just in time to play rook c1. Mm. Close. Um, Shapovalov did something even more spectacular than knight takes b2. Was it b5? b5. I don't know if that does anything, though. He sacrifices oh. his queen. Yeah, he sacrifices his queen and wins. OK, I'm hearing two different ideas. So b5, uh, let's finish this one first. So knight takes b5. Queen takes b5. Or knight b3 checkmate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works, too. Uh, you can do this one too, you know. And then be fancy, Bishop takes a knight, yeah. Being fancy is always better. Both <laughs> both are checkmate. Uh, if knight takes b5 instead, yes, you can still take, same thing. Mm -hmm. same, very nice. Um, problem is, bishop a2. Oh, of course. Bishop a2 holds. So play such a play a, a, such a nice move that bishop a2 still fails to defend. I heard a queen sacrifice somewhere. Let's go back. If white can't take anything on b5. Right. Oh, is it queen b5? Right. Yeah. Queen b5. Yeah. Double exclamation mark. So, same thing, right? Knight b5. Checkmate. 
Bishop B5. Um, checkmate still. And the difference you're seeing, right? Bishop A2, what's the difference? A queen to, or a queen takes B2. Absolutely. What the pawn couldn't do, the queen can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, white played rook D2 so that this is not checkmate anymore. And how did Shabala finish off the game? I actually don't remember myself, so I have to think as well. My chest, man. Night check, right? This one. Right. Okay. Uh, king d1, I guess you're... So the king can now run to d1, but you're just taking the, the queen. All right. Mm -hmm. so by, I, I take your queen, I suppose. No, but my knight takes back, so... Take, take. Uh, well, it's better, right? Did we miss something? <laughs> it's a very complicated position. Yeah. Mm. Also, if I took, what would happen? Oh, then you just take the bishop with the queen. Take the bishop. Um, and you're threatening my knight, right? <sighs> it's hard to defend. Mm -hmm. Let's see three. Yeah, maybe there is no defense. Maybe I have to give up the, but no, I can't do that. Yeah, maybe this one is. You just die. <laughs> I think it looks like I just die, yes. So maybe king d1 then was, let's see if this, let's turn on the engine because it's really complicated. This might be winning too. Yep, it does win. Very good. <laughs> Bishop b3 is minus 9, and king d1 is minus 12. <laughs> so we missed something. King d1, oh, uh, of course. Uh, knight c3, says the engine. Take and take the, don't take the queen, but take the, the bishop, of course. Yeah. Can we miss this? Is that what Shabalov did? Let's see, any other ideas before we move on? Maybe knight takes knight as an option too. Okay, let's finish it. Hey, knight, said, knight takes knight is what Shabalov did, but, but knight b3 also won, so it doesn't matter. Knight c3. Oh, uh, I don't see any other moves, which means white resigned. Now, um, if bc, this is mate, right? If queen takes c3, um, probably easiest is... Knight check with b3. b3 or d3? At b3. b3. So queen, b3. And you take the queen because can't take back as a spin. Beautiful. I think you can take queen takes bishop first and then knight b3 too. Um, in which position? I think this one. You say thank you, okay. I heard, I heard several people talk. Uh, so you have to handle the check. Kevin, was that you that take queen takes knight? I can do queen takes bishop? Yeah, I think it's an option. No, one back. Here. One back. One back. Before, yeah, right here, right here. Just take it. Take it. Take it. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, why not? And we're up a piece. Yeah, up a piece and winning more because uh, give me the rook, give me the give me the bishop. Yeah, absolutely. So in view of all, all of these variations, uh, white resigned. All right, good stuff. 
Thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you for joining. Have a good night. Thank you. Wait. It was terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for joining. Um, come join other, uh, other future classes as well. You know, we have one every month. Okay, last one. It's going to be at the two month, uh, sorry, not two, two hour mark. Um, so let's finish up with a beautiful Bronstein Budfinnick game. Um, this is the oldest game I'm showing today. It's 1951, round 22, Bronstein versus Budfinnick. The score is tied, uh, and Bronstein is pushing for the win. We have this position. It was a Dutch, I think a Stonewall, Dutch, something like that. Um, it's a complicated position. What's your gut feeling? Uh, how do you assess the position first off? Who's better? Is it about even? Any ideas? I say white's better because his king's better protected. White's king is better, that's true. But there's many. I think other. black can create enough counterplay with its bishop pair and his queen. I feel like, I'm not sure how though, but I feel like it's somewhat equal or slightly favoring black. Any other assessments? Um, I think maybe white is a little bit better because of the pressure of the double rooks on the A file and also threatening A takes B5. Um, black can't capture with the A pawn because the rook falls. And then uh, the C pawn maybe can't capture because of queen D5. Actually, you're right. So A takes B5 was not an option. I think it's black to move. Okay, oh. black play queen F8, which makes A, B less powerful because A, B is now an option. Let's look at the queen, the position after queen F8. Um, okay, so I'm hearing different things. One, I agree black's king is weaker. Two, um, white has played down the A line for sure. That's the that's that's true. But you know, did you ask the, the bishop on E1 how he feels? Right? The bishop is really hemmed in, not doing great. And this bishop isn't doing that good either. Knights, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, knights very strong in the middle of the board. That being said, this bishop is already also not 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 very good. Good pieces and bad pieces. You know, this this bishop is good, for example. I think the computer says black is a smidgen better, but I honestly don't understand these positions very well. I, I have a feeling Kevin understands uh, these closed positions better than I do. But it's it's unclear. It's exactly what Bronstein wanted. Let's just put it that way, because it's double edged. And his tactical, so, but, but Vinnick was better strategically and Bronstein was better, like Tal, Shiro, Shapalo, he was better tactically. Um, the position um, becomes very, very rich in possibilities very shortly. What would you do? You know, um, I heard the Black King is weaker. So if we can get to the Black King, that'll be wonderful. Can White improve his pieces though, right? Because that's the, that's the most pressing thing here. So how would, let's, let's make this a strategical um, session for the next few moves at least. I was thinking um, bishop takes e4 mm -hmm. in order because that's a really powerful knight, but the problem is the pawn, to pawn on f, like f takes e and that opens up the queen down right. that file, which is a problem for white. So I don't think that would be a good move. Right, we should keep it in the back of our mind that bishop takes e4 probably will happen. Uh, but mm -hmm. here, to your point, yeah, maybe that now the, the pawn can come down the board. Yeah. I don't see how black gets to the white king, but he might. Like h4 might be strong. Um, yeah, the bishop can maybe sneak in here. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's keep bishop e4 for later, but I think it will happen. So, so I'm thinking. What else can we do? So I think you want to create multiple damage by. Um... Knight taking the d5 pawn. Ooh, take, take, take. Um, you don't have any threats, right? Well, let's take here. I 
And now might be a good time to take the, the knight now with the bishop. Okay. Bishop takes knight. F takes. And now e1 to c3. Bishop c3? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's an idea. So you want to probably move the queen away and play d5 check. Yeah, there's, there's some play there. Um, maybe bishop e6. So then you probably move to queen to maybe h4, five, yeah, h5, sorry. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> All right. You do have d5 check, but I don't think it works. Uh, I think it's a bit early for that sacrifice. Okay, something a bit calmer. Like, how can we improve our position, uh, position of the pieces? Can a4 take at b5, maybe? I think that did happen in the game. Oh, first he played knight d3, but a b5 also happened. I, and, I, and several people have mentioned. So Breistein is seeing the knight can go to c5, e5. Um, we're already looking at this diagonal opening up potentially, right? So knight d3 is a good flexible move. Black played rook b8. Oh, now the a-line is, is ours. So now take, take, keep going. Rook to a7. Mm -hmm. Consistent. Rook e7, defending. Um, now I'm seeing two, two pieces that needs to be improved. One, we already heard bishop d4 at a good you know, opportune moment. This bishop wants to come into play somehow and the knight should go to one of these squares eventually. So what's the, what's the, good, what's the good order of moves to accomplish all those? I, mean, you, I think you definitely want to take the knight first before you move the knight to c5. Um, c5. So take it now. Take, which way should, I think we have to take this way probably. Knight c5 or e5 or f4. Now what I don't like here, this is possible, but the bishop will move somewhere safe, um, let's say here. This bishop will never see the light of day. And you have some problems down, down the, well, mate is threatened actually. You have some problems down the F line and light squares around the king. Better. On knight e5 directly. I think that's what Bronstein played, yeah. And it's not an easy move to make. Um, I don't know if I would have found this. It looks like a pawn sacrifice, but as long as the bishop can get to this diagonal, like for example, let's see, let's see what happens here. Take, take, and let's assume the bishop is not hanging. This bishop is not hanging, right? Now this idea could be realized. Like something like this, right? And even if you take with the with the rook, by the way, that's still like I opened the I opened the diagonal. It's fine, you know. I can I form a battery one day. So that's the flavor of the position Bronstein is is aiming at. Okay, Black played bishop back because the bishop was hanging too. It's a key moment. Now, I wish I could force you to take with the D pawn uh, when I, I want to take on E4, right? But I wish I, 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 wish, um, I could force you to, to take with the D pawn and not with the F pawn. Because then I can play D5, oops, D5, and the bishop could come to this diagonal or the queen, something. Would G4 be able to achieve that? G4, exclamation mark. Very good. 
Botvinnik took. And now is the right time. Take. We forced the deepon to take the, the bishop. And now? Maybe just simply bishop c3? I think bishop c3 is strong. Um, the idea is pushing d5 one day. Reinstein did this a little bit more forcefully. How can you get to this diagonal with tempo from here? Would knight g6 check? Ooh, knight g6. Bishop g6? And then bishop c3 maybe? I don't know if that's... I like your idea. Slow. No, I think it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, d5 is threatened one day. Mm, what to do? Changing and okay. but I can play bishop e5 to block, right? Okay, let's just be practical and play h6. So that if you play d5, I'm hiding on h7. Can I do just do a series of double checks and get the pawn? Um, so what's the move? Do a series of double checks to get the pawn. But what's the move? How, how do you um, D4 to D5. D5 check, king up, and just take the pawn? Yeah. Sure, uh, that, that's fine. Problem is we're down, uh, we're down a, um, a whole piece. Like I can do something like, like this one to attack your, your pawn. Or even, I wonder if this one works, by the way. I don't know. Why not, right? Um, here. And now, what do I do? I don't know what I do. I do something. Try to give a check on H4. I think you can e4. check, check, check until you get E3 with check and then uh, push E4 or E3. There we, there we go. No, the, 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 the rook on A7 hangs. So this is the line. Here, 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 here. White resigns. Good line, good line, very good line. Um, yeah, the, the, the sacrifice is close but it doesn't seem to work. Let's bring the bishop to, to life. Bishop to a h4. That's what Bronstein did. Give me the, the rook. Rook went to e5. I wonder if rook g7 uh, why did he not do this, actually? I don't know why. Does rook f1? Probably, probably. F1 looks very good. Uh, I guess this is forced, right? Or bishop, yeah. Bishop f. Yeah, that's why. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, so Botvinnik must have seen that and he, he took on e5. Take, take. Now Kevin's idea is still good, rook f1, queen g8. And this is a few moves before the time control. Um, back in the day, you would get time added or in adjournment uh, by move 40. So I'm, I'm guessing Botvinnik was short on time. And the position is so bad, he'll never make it uh, to time control. Now, queen g8 threatens the, the queen, but Vinic is trying to, okay, he's down in exchange, but he has a pawn for it, right? The c6 pawn is extra. And actually the g6 pawn is extra too. He wants an ending, right? So what does white do here? We don't want an ending. B3 to c2, maybe? B3 to C2. 
Is that what you said? Yes. B32, C2, okay. What to do here? Does G3 work? Um, you can go H2 to H3. H3. Mm -hmm. How can I consolidate here? Queen G6 is not bad. It's hard to play. Oh, but that rook fa check, right? That's actually mating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe bishop g6, bishop h5. Or queen d5, mate. No, bishop, that's the same thing. Bishop has to move, probably. Let's, let's move here. You take the pawn, possibly? Yeah, that, that, yeah definitely. Yeah, and that's a, that's a good pawn to take. Mm. Well, this, this looks very good for white too, I have to admit. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the bishop, bishop can never leave the, the diagonal, right? Because you always have this check. Uh, maybe somewhere safe-ish, like b2. But this looks very suspicious for, for black. Okay, I think this, this is a fine idea, but Braunstein has something more decisive. Queen g8. Is it rook takes h7 check? No, I don't know. Cool idea. Uh, so king takes. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it leads anywhere though. It's close. It's close. Yeah. The king is so weak. Something like that has to like. I feel like, or to... or you could do bishop f6 check right now. Or, or maybe rook f6. Okay, let's look at them one by one. So bishop f6, take queen's hanging, right? Oh, you're saying like this and then check. And then up top, yeah. Uh, but I go back. Yeah, but then that goes back, right? I take them up a piece. And you're losing. And the other line you suggested, rook f6, but then the queen just hangs the same. Again, check. I yeah, back. yeah. But we're very close. Um, so make a threat, right? Make a make a threat with um, with the move you're making. Rook f eight, maybe. F8 is a good move to, to consider. So this is now illegal. Queen mm -hmm. F8, and now? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that, yeah. Hmm. Maybe you can come here, but. So how about, okay. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be bishop g7, maybe. Should be okay. Uh, Greg, so, did you have a thought? So, yeah, so how about, H4 back to G3. Ooh. And what if I take? With what? Oh. Oh, it does it better. No problem. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, F8, F F1, F8. Mm -hmm. Forced. And now Bishop takes Bishop. Checkmate. Beautiful. Well done. That's what he did. And but Vinick must have been shocked, right? He played bishop g7. And oh, well, the game is over, right? But Vinick, I think, resigned as he played this move because the simple line to finish is you can you can see the, the, the point. Oh, I, I apologize. I missed uh, Ralph's idea. Instead of h2, h3, h2 takes g3. That was an option too. Uh, I have a feeling we didn't play best chess there, but 
Maybe black is okay, but maybe not. I, I, it's worth it's worth looking at. Yeah, but in this situation, isn't it just simple queen takes queen and the bishop takes the rook? Absolutely correct. So check here, and we're up. Uh, we're up what an, an exchange, and a rook, which is completely winning. So Batwinik resigned. Well, Batwinik did come back the next game to win back and tie the tie the tie the match, and he actually defended his title. Okay, we're at the two hour mark and uh, you guys have been amazing with all, with the nice contribution and good ideas. Uh, sometimes you found really, really good moves. You played as good as masters and grandmasters. Uh, so thanks a lot for coming, joining and, and uh, making this interactive, nice, uh, nice lecture. Again, uh, next month there's, uh, every month there's someone. So, you know, please keep checking the, the Facebook page. All right, Mark, do, do you have anything else to add before we wrap up? Uh, nothing at the moment, um, but you know, everyone keep an eye out on their emails. We'll be sending out some announcements pretty soon. Um, but, uh, and also I wanna thank you, Melly, for coming in tonight. This is an excellent lecture as always. Thanks, anytime. Thank you, hand clap. Thank you. Hand clap. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a good night, everyone. Thanks again. Thank you.